Welcome back everybody. The rain has returned this morning. It actually returned very early this morning. I think around three or four o'clock I heard it start pouring down rain. So today's a good day for some soup. We're gonna make Titus that carrot soup he's been talking about. We also have lots of leftovers so it's gonna be a leftovers plus carrot soup night because I know some of the kids aren't gonna be into this carrot soup. So I'm adding a pound of uh, baby carrots in here too. I chopped some of them up, some of them I didn't because we're gonna put it in the slow cooker. I'm just cooking them down a little bit in here first. We're also gonna put a couple of potatoes in here. And whenever it gets done in the slow cooker, we're gonna blend it all up anyway. So it doesn't really matter how we cut it right now. Now I'm just gonna chop these potatoes kind of small. We'll throw them in here with the carrots and onions. The onion was uh, one of those bags that was left over from the onion bowls last night. All right, so I'm just gonna let all this cook for about five to eight minutes. I'll go ahead and be putting the other stuff in the slow cooker. So we're putting in some chicken broth first. I sprayed the slow cooker with a little bit of cooking spray. And we are gonna put in just about this whole carton. We need about three cups. One and a half cups of milk. All right, y'all, it's been about seven or eight minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put the carrots, and potatoes, and onions in here. We'll put some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder. And that's it, you can cook it on high for four to five hours or low for six to eight. this hair I don't want to cut it I gotta have a little bit of a haircut here everybody yeah look down Fell on like I'm gonna my, cry let me say this right here before you start your weeping I need it to be where my cowboy hat comes on my cowboy hat has to fit this hair is getting a little bit too long the back and the sides mostly now, I, I'm the one who happened to want him to cut his hair y'all because I like it like that like it hang on I'm getting sad back here. I like it like it is. I mean, it is getting a little too long now, so. Cowboy hats are not like just having a ball cap. You don't, you can't adjust them out. You don't want to have to go buy another hat just because your wife wants your hair to get a little <laughs> bit longer. Y'all, I just want to mention one thing and I'm just going to mention it. Jacob and Tyler have both started going to a barber. I'm no professional. The ones that they've been to, I had to fix Tyler's hair the other day when yeah. he came home. Woo! That was messed up. It really was. It was. And he was going on a date, too. Mm-mm. Don't send your boy out the door like that. <laughs> I don't like going out anymore to the barbershops and stuff because it's all changed in the world. Back when I was little, you'd go on Saturday morning to a barbershop uptown. It was old men that talked to you about baseball and stuff like that, you know. But now, everything's changed in the world. I'll talk to you about baseball. Well, I don't play baseball anymore. <laughs> I used to be a pitcher. But then he broke his arm. Broke my arm pitching. Okay, can you look down a little bit? Have you showed them the shoes you wear around the house? <laughs> They've seen them, y'all. He hates these shoes I'm wearing. It's I got them from Walmart. It's just the no boundaries. It's like the knockoff of those, I don't know what the name brand ones are called that people wear. They're really 
comfortable to wear, especially when you're cleaning and stuff. It looks like it'd be a lot to deal with. What mm -hmm. did you say the other day? They were like, what? It looks like a bag of marshmallows <laughs> melted down right there. The world likes different things. I just like them to wear around the house to clean because, you know, if you're wearing any shoes with a little bit of heel, I don't see how them women did it back in the day, buddy. Whew. Their feet was hurting when they got done with that day. People were tougher, and uh, it's obvious from what Fallon said about these heels that they were tougher. Yeah. <laughs> Even the women. Today's one of them days where you just want to get a good haircut after you've done been shoeing horses. Go get your shower, get cleaned up, and sit down and eat some soup. Hey, hey, Daddy don't want to look great yet. He don't look great yet? Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you, son. I love honest people. Yeah. You're done. Man, you want a haircut? Mm -hmm. How was he got my haircut yet next week? Oh, okay. <laughs> Birds like worms, don't they? Mm -hmm. And fish like worms. Fish don't eat worms. Yeah, they do. They eat fish. The soup still has about an hour and a half left, and I'm gonna make some fried cornbread to go with it. Okay, y'all, for these fried cornbread cakes, we're just gonna make the easy southern cornbread recipe on the back of the Martha White cornmeal bag. Once we get that made, we're gonna add a little bit of stuff to it. So we have the two cups of cornmeal, one egg, we need a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Well, that's pretty much what was in there. We'll just go ahead and put that in. And we're gonna put a little less buttermilk than we normally do. I normally go with two cups, so we just did about a cup and a half this time. Looks like it's about to pour down again. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna put a few red pepper flakes. Now I'm just gonna chop up an onion. We're gonna need this. It's bacon drippings. I'm just gonna let a little bit of this melt in here. Then we'll put some oil in. I'm chopping these really fine, a lot finer than I normally would because we want it to be just little pieces in here. And I think half of it's gonna be good. We'll save that other half for something else. four minutes on that first side and then when you flip them just a couple of minutes and they should be ready. I've got it just below medium. piece of this little cactus plant keeps wanting to fall down. Yeah. It's a supposed to be a not pokey one, but if you, and it's not really, but if you find just the right little spot. I made it to stand up. Thanks. It is a little pokey, but it's soft in most places. We want to feel like we're still connected with the West. <laughs> this little cactus needs to stand up. Yeah, it does need to stand up. It keeps I, falling down, doesn't it? I made those cactuses stand up. Oh, show them your hair. You forgot. Whenever I got done, it was all wet. Let's see it. Isn't that great? What about the carrot soup? I really liked it. I mean, it reminded me kind of that... Uh, butternut squash butternut soup. Butternut squash. Yeah, yeah, that is what it tasted like. Yeah, the star of the show was the cornbread, cornbread. things. Cornbread was really that was good. great. Everybody, I'm going to tell y'all something right here. Basically, whenever Fallon got done with my haircut, 
I went in there and I brushed my teeth. I got my, I actually got my old electric toothbrush out. Mm-hmm. Felt pretty good about that, so when I got done with that deal right there, I went ahead and shaped up my neck. Fallon likes me to shape up my neck. Yeah. She hates it if I, Mm-mm. she don't like it if I come in here and. Harry Nick. Harry Nick. I've been called Harry Nick before. Hurts my feelings. <laughs> You might have would have noticed my haircut more if what would have happened, happened. I looked at my door and I said, what the hell come? <laughs> There's that nose thing. <laughs> Got all them long hairs sticking out. You know, we talked about sweeping floors saying no a while back. So I, I shaped that up, you know, got got all that out of my nose. A while back, I had this thing that you stuck on that joker and you could go across your eyebrows. I didn't pay attention and I popped that thing on there and I just stuck it up there and I said, what? That ain't that thing. The way you do that thing is you just stick it on there and just go like that right there and it's supposed to take off all the high spots. Yeah. It would have took everything off. (laughs) You would have been done. And I'd have come out of there looking like a hoot owl. You would (laughs) have. Whoo. You, then you I would have had, had to tuck. wear sunglasses all day. Not just for that, several I probably, days. Yeah, even in the shade, people wouldn't have understood that. They'd be like, "What's going on with Titus?" He's there. They'd be like, 